Alrighty guys, welcome back to Balaka's Fish Room. So today, uh, what we've got is a really, really cool unboxing video where we're gonna be unboxing some really rare fish, some of the fish that I've got here in the fish room, but also some, some brand new additions uh, to the fish room as well. So in this box here, and, and I just wanted to give a really quick um, shout out to Chris Alogdellis. Chris, if, you, if you're looking for any of um, these types of fish like the Black Nasties or Trimax or um, anything that, that you know is 100% pure specimens here in Australia, Chris is the guy um, to ask. He, one, he ships fish uh, Australia wide so he can get these fish to you from kind of wherever you are um, and will let you know the cost of the freight and everything like that. So he's in Sydney, um, I'm just on the Gold Coast so that's a good 12 hour good 12 hour drive away and um, and he popped these guys in uh, in transit yesterday and they're already here it's about midday um, the following day so really really quick postage um, really good quality fish these are the these are the black nasties that I got about a year ago um, and you know I've had no issues with bloating whatsoever from these guys and um, and yeah, so uh, I'm really excited to open it, open up this box and, and, and show you what's in here. So uh, let's get cracking. All right, so we've got the box of fish here that I was telling you about before. So we'll crack this one open. So in here we should have the Black Nasties, Trimax, and some of the white convicts of goods. And hopefully we don't have any dead on arrival. Uh, okay, so these for, for a few people. So one of the guys, he's holding the camera right now. Um, and then, so these fish here we've got for, for Mark. So these guys, they are the white convict cichlids. That's interesting. It's got plastic in there. I don't know what that is. Okay, so we've got some white convicts. We've got some black nasties. So these are the Nandopsis hadiensis fry. None are dead, which is good. Okay, so we've got those ones. We've got a little bag of food. So that's what I was saying about Chris. He provides the full service, so he'll give, give you fish food and the fish themselves, which is really good. Um, got some more for Mark here. So these are his Trimax. So gorgeous little fish. I think he got maybe five of these. Maybe ten. We'll see. And we've got these other two bags here. So we've got another two bags of the Trimax as well. So they're a good size. They look just under an inch. All different sizes. So hopefully there's a good mix of Males and females, so that's one of the bags of ten. And then the last bag here, another ten of the Trimax cichlids. So, really quick, like I said, they were boxed up and shipped yesterday, and they're already here less than 24 hours later. So, really happy with the service. So, if you're in Australia and you want any of these types of fish, uh, definitely reach out to Chris, and I'll put a bit of info in the uh, in the section below okay guys so you just saw uh, I think it was Thursday that I did the unboxing of the fish so it's now Sunday morning and what I've done is I've just I've just let it let it a few days just for the trimax that I got to, to settle in so I could really showcase um, you know the quality and uh, and the personalities of these little fish I'm really excited to have these in the fish room uh, to grow out um, if you've been following my channel for a while you, you would have known that I I had what I th thought was trimax um, and I could never be a hundred percent certain and um, and the part that I actually really enjoy about the hobby is actually growing fish out from fry um, and or, or juveniles and, uh, and watching them grow up and seeing the different personalities, letting them pair up by themselves and everything like that. So I'm really excited. I've got um, 10 baby Trimax in here um, and they're as pure as we're gonna get here in Australia. Um, uh, like I said, they came from Chris Allardellis. Uh He's got, I think he told me he's got upwards of 40 aquariums or something crazy like that. And 
Um, he breeds and supplies a whole bunch of um, online aquarium stores, but he, he sells privately, like, a, like I was saying. And, um, and so I've, I've managed to get a few little videos together of, uh, of a few different of the adults that Chris has. So I think I've got a, a video of the adult Trimax and the adult uh, Black Nasties as well. So I'll, um, I'll finish the video on that, but, uh, but just for now, we'll get a, get a couple of close-up shots of the, of the Trimax. All right, guys, so I got uh, the few of my mates that received these fish from Chris to send through a few little short videos. So we'll, um, we'll start in front of uh, my Trimax. So these are the, the 10 Trimax that, that Chris sent me. So um, th look, there's not much else to say other than they're just top quality. You can see the scribe kind of markings on them already. They just look absolutely fantastic. Um, the bright red eyes and, uh, and yeah, just amazing little fish. Can't wait to see them grow up. <coughs> okay, so these are the black nasty fry that, uh, that Mark got sent. Absolutely stunning little fry. Definitely the pick of the bunch. Uh, these are the Trimax that Mark got sent as well. So um, I think he ended up getting 10 of these. So just gorgeous little fish, especially that there was one standout male. Um, that one there, it's just ducking away. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay, another little snapshot of the Black Nasties. Really rigorous uh, swimming, really good sign. And then these are the little pink convicts. So um, Chris has actually line bred these and they're, they're absolutely stunning. Heaps of orange, bright white, absolutely beautiful. Now, these are the adults of the Trimax cichlids. And coming up in just a second, you'll see black nasties as well. So these are the parents of the fish that we've received. So these are the parents of the black nasties that I've got that I've raised up as well. And those new ones that Mark got his hands on. All right, guys, so that was a good couple of close-up shots of, um, of some of the babies that, that me and a couple of my mates got. So um, there was some of the Black Nasties, there was the Trimax that I've got, there was the Trimax that, um, that another, another guy got as well, uh, which is really cool. Um, I, I just showed you the adult Black Nasties that, that I got my Nasties from as well, and that are also the adults of, um, of the, the little babies that you saw as well, the little striped, uh, Really, really impressive looking baby black nasties, if, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, mine didn't actually look like that when I when I got my nasties, so it's gonna be really interesting to see how those turn out for Mark. So um, the I'm sitting in front of this tank here just to close off the video because I thought it was just an important thing to, to cover off. I was, I was really sure I was gonna lose this guy. Um, on the other side of his face here, I'll see if we can get his, his eye and see that little bump that he's got just on the on the side of his face there it just looks a little bit swollen so his eye was actually popping out of his head um, it was like I thought it was going to explode out and he was going to die it was, it was absolutely horrendous the left side so this this side of his face there it's still a little bit swollen and but it was atrociously infected um, I don't know if he'd bang, banged himself on something or if there was just an infection in, I guess, what you can call their sinuses. <laughs> um, but he had a really bad infection and his eye was actually absolutely protruding out of his head. Um, and I wish I got a video of it, but I was more concerned in, in, um, in healing him up and, and everything. So I put him in this quarantine tank. Um, I used a um, certain antibiotic, um, but I, I cleaned, cleaned the wound. I put him in a um, salt bath, which was... Uh, sea salt and um, and uh, Epsom salt. So and you know after that bath, I thought he was actually going to die. Um, but I put him back in here and kept his water clean, kept the water nice and salted, and um, and he's made a, a full recovery, which is really 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 exciting. So anyway, guys, um, that's kind of where we're up to. I'll do a full fish room update in a couple of weeks for the month of April. Um, and you'll be able to see everything is now completed in the in the fish room 
um, and it's all nice and tidy again, which is really good. Uh, you gotta kind of make a mess to, um, to make something really, really nice. So it's all, all nice and clean now, all nice and tidy. And, uh, and I look forward to showing you guys in a couple of weeks. So, um, like I said, uh, Chris, uh, he's pretty, pretty uh, knowledgeable about all, all these kinds of fish. And, um, and he will help you along the way when you order some fish through there. So I'll put his, uh, I'll put his Facebook page and his, uh, his mobile number in, um, in the description below, just so you guys, if, you, if you're looking to buy any of these fish, you can actually reach out to Chris and, um, and get some of the fish that we're talking about. Obviously here in Australia, he can ship them too. Um, but if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to leave them down below. I'm sure he'll be able to see the comments as well and, and, um, and leave a bit of feedback or, or help you guys in the right direction. So without further ado, thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.